I cannot stop using matrix. So in the past few video, like I've been using matrix to prove different properties of Fibonacci numbers, right? It's almost the sixth video in this series of Fibonacci numbers. And I hope you are also in saying like how matrix is being used, like to prove. So it's difficult formulas in really easy way, right? None of the videos had been really hard. And the only thing that we used was this formula, which I proved in the very first video. In this playlist, if you want to please check that one. Yeah, I will just stick it over here. And the formula that we used was this thing. Uh, if we raise the matrix 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power n, the answer will be f now if you don't know what raising matrix to a power means just multiplying the matrix n times okay so fn plus one fn 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 minus one and using this we have been proving a lot of theorems and also in this video also we'll prove it using the same just this formula yeah now let's see how to do that we want to find sum from i equals to one to n of i f of i but instead of finding this sum, what I will try to do is, I will try to find another sum. Sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i times 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power i, this matrix. The reason is, the reason is this sum will be able to give us the value of original sum. So let me show you how. We know that in matrix form, i is basically i times 1 and 1 in matrix is just identity matrix so this will be i 0 0 i right i will multiply the entire elements of the matrix in this one we know that this is i plus 1 fibonacci number i fibonacci number i fibonacci number and then i minus 1 fibonacci number now if we do the matrix multiplication what we will get is sum from i equals to 1 to n. Now this will be i times f i plus 1 and then i times f i, i times f i, i times f i minus 1. Now over here, if you look at it carefully, now we know that the sum well, it can take an inside the matrix right? because individual elements are going to be sum. So sum from i equals to 1 to n of i f i plus 1. Sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i f i. Sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i f i. Sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i f i minus 1. So if you look over here, we see that the second term in this matrix will basically be our required answer. Yeah. And now if you try to find a way, a different way to find this sum, different way to calculate this sum, and just look at the second element or it's a third element, that will be our answer. Because we know that in a, if, in a different approach, that was equal to the required sum right so now let's try to uh, do this sum do this sum over here in a different way yeah okay so let's try to see how we can do it we want sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i 1 1 1 0 i now you might notice that this looks somehow same as this one sum from i is equals to 1 to n of n x to the power n which we have done sorry no not let me write it key instead of you know, it isn't let me make this sum as sum of k k from 1 to n k x to the power k we have seen in this sum right and we have also evaluated this sum and this is just a similar sum now how to evaluate this if you have already done then it's good if you haven't let me show you how to do that now i will be, i can basically write this as sum from k equals to 0 to n of k x to the power k because when k is 0 this term over here is going to go to, go to 0 anyway right yeah 
Now, to evaluate this, first of all, begin with another sum. Sum from k equals to 0 to n of x to the power k. We know that this will be a r to the power n is their number of terms is n plus 1 minus 1 by n my x r minus 1. So, this is our sum, right? Now, if we differentiate both sides with respect to k, with respect to x, you get sum from k equals to 0 to n of kx to the power k minus 1. Now, use the cosine rule over here. B u dash minus u b dash by b square. This looks complicated for now, but later on it will simplify, so don't worry. So now this is, uh, now this is n plus 1 x to the power n plus 1 minus n plus 1 x to the power n, right? Yeah, minus x to the power n plus 1 plus 1, is it right? n plus 1 x to the power n plus 1 minus n plus 1 x to the power n minus x to the power n plus 1 here yeah. divided by x minus 1 square now to get the required expression just multiply by x in both sides we get sum from k equals 0 to n of k x to the power k is equals to n plus 1 x to the power n plus 2 minus n plus 1 x to the power n minus x n plus 2 n plus 1 after multiplying plus x divided by x minus 1 square and again this is x to the power n plus 2 over here since th there are these two things and if we add them we will just have n right yeah minus n plus 1 x to the power n plus 1 plus x by x minus 1 square is it right yeah let's confirm if it's right or not because once you we go ahead then if it's wrong then uh, i'm i'm gonna feel very bad so let's confirm this if let's say n is 2 and x is also let's say 3 then this sum is supposed to be um 0 plus 8k equals to 1 that's 3 plus 8k equals to 2 that's 2 times 3 square 10 this is a 9 times 2 is 18 21 right now let's check it over here 2 times 3 to the power 4 minus 3 times 3 to the power 3 plus 3 divided by 3 minus 1 square which is 81 times 2 is 162 minus uh, 81 plus 3 by 4 and this is 162 minus 78 by 4 this is by 4 which is 21 so it works right now since we are sure that it works we are good to go I'm good to go yeah so guys this is it's always better to it's always good to confirm before you proceed ahead because once you go ahead there's no coming back and i mean there's coming back but it takes a lot of time right it's better to confirm before the hand delete okay now after we know that, that this formula after we know this formula now what you can do is we can we, are, we can find our matrix we have to find sum from i is equal and notice that this is same as uh, the index change to one because at zero this is going to be zero right so i think you get that this can be zero or one no this doesn't matter sum from i is equals to one to n of i one 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 zero to the power i this will be now n n this now x is i Sorry, x is 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power n plus 2 minus n plus 1. x is, x is 1, 1, 1, 0 to the power n plus 1 plus 
one 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 zero divided by again x is one 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 zero minus one is supposed to be one zero zero one right in matrix now this will be equal to this will be equal to n now that's just fn plus 3 fn plus 2 this is from the formula that i mentioned at the beginning right so from this formula so fn plus 3 fn plus 2 fn plus 2 fn plus 1 minus n plus 1 times this is fn plus 2 fn plus 1 fn plus 1 fn plus this is 1 1 1 0 divided by this is uh, 0 minus 1 sorry not minus 1 mm. okay 0 1 1 minus 1 0 one one minus one square right now this is equal to this is equal to n f n plus three minus n plus one f n plus two plus one and then n f n plus two minus n plus one f n plus one plus one n f n plus two i know that this might this might seem as a lot but i but this is this none of this is too hard right this is just some boring calculations yeah so please don't get intimidated by this in case if you oh, do not please please do not now yeah we have done that right let me see if it's correct or not <laughs> yeah it's correct and now uh, we need to take square and then take the inverse right okay now it's a square will be let me do it over here 0 1 1 minus 1 0 1 1 minus 1 so 0 1 0 1 that's 1 0 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1, that's minus 1, that's 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, yeah. This is it, right? So, 1 minus 1, minus 1, 2 inverse. Yeah, the square and the inverse. Now, let me erase this. Right? Okay. And up to that. Again, I have to take inverse, right? So, inverse. 1 minus 1 minus 1 2 inverse this is 1 by 2 minus 1 and then 2 1 1 1 now this is so easy right this is just 1 this is just 2 1 1 1 okay let me again erase that and write just write 2 1 1 1 mm. delete also let me delete this delete Delete. Delete. We know it's two one one one, right? That's two one one one. Okay. Now, now you know it might be pretty complicated to multiply all the stuffs, but no, notice that we just need. The second thing right we just need second thing so just calculate the second stuff no 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 need to calculate all of them so for this one we need to multiply this row with second first row with second column right so that will be n f n plus three minus n plus one f n plus two plus one plus n f n plus two minus n plus one f n plus one plus one yeah so let's just go ahead we don't need all the other stuffs just let's calculate this one now this is n f n plus 4 minus n plus 1 f n plus 3 plus 2 right let's just go and calculate that now again i can take n common n f n plus 4 minus f n plus 3 
minus fn plus 3 plus 2. Let's just calculate that. So this is n f n plus 2 minus f n plus 3 plus 2. So we got this right and we know this is equal to sum from i is equals to 1 to n of i f r right so yeah that's the answer that's how we do it let's just give the answer correct or not and f n plus 2 means f n plus 2 plus 2 and f n plus 2 yeah it's exactly correct see maths never lies though the person the process could have been some some somehow complicated and uh, there's a lot of geometry and so, some stops but yeah you need you see we go always got the right answer this pretty easy thing it's this this is some this is normal algebra this is not this is not anything complex but the, just the idea is so, so ingenious to use the matrix right so to summarize we use this matrix matrix representation and yeah we we chose this one because from here we could obtain that required sum and after that we went to do the sum in different way we had to get a formula of the matrix series of for this type and use that and just simplify normal algebra and just then compare the second below and get the answer so that was it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching also watch the other videos on this playlist i hope that you will enjoy it and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video